Now for a little segment we like to call Let's Talk Real. Let's Talk Real. Let's Talk Real. Talk, talk, talk real. All right. Let's Talk Real. What's up, guys? My name is Beast Mode, and it's been a long time since you guys have heard that intro. I guess I just I haven't been dropping the spiritual, philosophical, you know, uh, guidance to life as much as I had before. But in all seriousness, uh, this is about Robert Bowling, and today he resigned as the lead creative strategist of Call of Duty. He resigned from Infinity Ward. He resigned from Activision. So he is completely out of the picture. Like he is gone. And he's been around for quite a while. I want to say COD 4, I'm not sure, but he's been around for quite a few years uh, as part of Infinity Ward. And for those of you who don't know, don't know who Robert Bowling is, for one, you need to get out of a cave or whatever rock you live in. I hope you don't call yourself a Call of Duty like enthusiast because if you don't know who Robert Bowling is, then uh, you know I don't know what's wrong with you. But essentially, he is the voice the face of Call of Duty. He's the guy that interacts with the oh, media, God, interacts with us as players, you know, gets our feedback on what we want, and then he goes to the development team and tries to get that implemented, you know. Um, when we wanted Drop Zone in Modern Warfare 3, they took it away. The players, you know, reacted, said we want it back. He went to the development team, he got it back. Uh, the FMG9's Type 95, we wanted that patched. They patched it a little bit, not as much as we'd, <laughs> as much as we'd like, but, you know, essentially that's his job, is he interacts with us but a lot of people get this misconception that like he's the sole individual that like actually creates the game and is responsible for everything in the game and how the way it plays and just everything and because of that I mean he's like the number one hated person in the video game world because Call of Duty has such a large following just like JD2020 and Black Ops who quit his job last year you know he was essentially what Robert Bowling was is I can only imagine the emotional and mental toll that that would have because I mean I, I experienced some hate on YouTube because there's douchebags and there's faggots you know everywhere and I, I hate to use those words but there really are there's people that don't understand what's going on and they just like to hate just to hate they just want to be a dick just to be a dick and I just want you know I'm not gonna commentate on what I think you know how he did it on a job I'm not gonna give you guys my opinions I just want to clear up this misconception of what he did essentially he was just a voice he was a face you you can make your decisions from there but I want to give you guys the truth just let you know and to just let you know that he quit um, where this is gonna take Call of Duty you know I don't know uh, it's gonna be interesting to see maybe that'll be a video I'll do in the future but I just wanted to let you guys know and also just clear up this misconception because guys he's a person you know and uh, I'm sure he tried to do his job as best as he could and just the fact that so many people hate on you that's just that's got to add up as a toll I can only imagine and you know my heart goes out to the guy um, best of luck to him in the future really that's all I got to say is I hope what you know whatever he chooses to do wherever he goes out into this job market it's a tough job market um, I hope he's successful you know and I hope I hope he finds something he likes uh, and, and you know it's a sad deal but I guess his time's up he ha probably has his own reasons for going but I just want to clear up a misconception I'm with you guys let you know and uh, best of luck to you Robert Bowling 402 hope everything goes alright and uh, hope you guys have a good one my name is Beast Mode as always like and all that crap whatever <laughs> and uh, have a good one guys peace out